Hello guys, welcome to a new video. We are today's, today with The Sims 4 again. Today Saturday we're going to be building another house in The Sims 4. So today we're going to be doing the uh, houses in Villa Verde, that is in Chile, where Alejandro Arbena built houses, well half of the houses and the other half was designed by the people that live on those houses. So basically it was like a middle design done by Alejandro Aravena. So we're going to be building that house. So uh, before we can continue with this video, I need you to please give it a like and subscribe to my channel if you like these videos about The Sims 4. Remember that we're going to be publishing videos of The Sims 4 each Saturday. So go ahead and give it a like, give it support to this video and let's go to the construction. So we started the design as the previous houses. So we did the rectangle here, so for the first and the second floor. But in this specific house, the design was not going to be, um, it was not going to be ruled by the, by the size of the house, of the lot as well, but for the furniture that is going to be inside of the house because this house is designed, it's a social interest house so it's for um, all kind of people but most likely for um, people with low income so the architect designed, designed this house in order for it to be uh, a little house with the possibility to expand so for the furniture I decided to use uh, wood as the material that is going to be I the primal material on this house so you're going to see wood on every type of furniture that I'm going to be using in here so in the first part of the house we have the dining room that is the first thing next to the dining room we have the kitchen and uh, next to the kitchen and the dining room we have the entrance we don't have a living room in this first design in this first house it was designed in order for the um, uh, people that lived in this house designed the rest of the house. So that's where you see that we have on the first floor we have a kitchen, dining room and the bathroom and the stairs of course that goes to the second floor. So that was basically what it, what it was going to give me the size of the actual house, the, um, the areas that I needed and everything. So as you can see, I'm reducing the size of the house because as soon as I got everything fit on this house, on this space, I do not need more space in here. So as you can see, kitchen and everything is a small size, but it is even smaller when you saw the actual plan of this house because on this on this part where the kitchen is, it is supposed to be um, somewhere for the washing machine for the washing machine to be there. So it was smaller, but here in the Sims we don't have that uh, equipment. So I didn't add it, so I got the possibility for me to um, have a kitchen that it was going to be larger than the original one. So there you can see the facade on this house that is, that is wood and for the, for the internal part I decided to use something like with the same colors, using the same colors in order for it to be like more like the outside to the inside for it to be like the same idea from, uh, from the outside to the inside so it was going to be the same idea 
for the second floor what I tried in here it was to build the second floor with the um, with the roof that the game gave me but it was not possible because as you can see you're going to see it the walls intersect with the with the ceiling so it was not possible for me to do it that way so finally I decided to do the second floor as normal and the, ce the ceiling as normal as well so there you can see that was the second floor same facade outside and on the second floor it's interesting that we only have two rooms this uh, the architect decided it to be two bedrooms but in here since I just have my sim and two dogs I decided to use one for the for like a studio or for me to have a computer and a guitar and on the other one I have my bedroom and I have um, the bed of course and somewhere to put my clothes So there you can see that everything fits as well with the design that I wanted that everything needed to be wood like color the, co the same color and everything and uh, of course I added some other details that are like for me more personal details like the uh, the idea of the of the colors in the internal part the bed the well the the actual bed it is like something that I think that fits good for this house but it was just my personal like uh, opinion so that is uh, that was up to me maybe you can do it in a different way but that was how I do it so there you can see the ceiling is um, the same as I wanted also I added the the wall for the other part because as you can see that space that is for the for the people that is living on the house for them to complete it to complete the house as they prefer you have the option to have um, like um, something for you to sell there like a, like a store there for you to have other bedrooms for you to have a living room maybe if you need it so that was up to the person that is living on this house what it was going to be on that other part so i was moving this house to that part of the lot because i wanted to show you how I was i was going to build like the other part of the house so i decided to do it a residential part so you are going to see that i'm not going to have like a store or something like that but i'm going to um to make the house larger that is the original one so that is the expansion that is as the architect designed it to be so with the with the kitchen with the living room with everything in the first floor the same but i added some other details that i think that it was going to be important for me to have them in here So well the first thing that I needed to have that I needed to have it was the the living room for you to have uh, some people that go to visit you or something like that. So that that was important for me. Maybe for the original design it was not that important. Also I added a wall for me to divide the bathroom and the and the dining room and the living room. I decided to add that wall. Of course, I added some plants and everything that it was my personal design, what I needed to have in here, what I think that fits good for this design. And something that I missed in here on the first floor, you're going to see it uh, in a few seconds, it was the stairs. So as you can see, we don't have the stairs yet but we still have two floors in this house 
so I was going to add these stairs, of course. We are going to have them, but I was forgetting this in here. For the second floor, or well, I decided to copy everything from one house to another. For you to see it uh, on the epic shots, you're going to see the comparison between one house and the other one. So you're going to be, you're going to be, have more specifically what change in one house and the other one. For the lighting, I decided to use uh, wall lighting, but it was not uh, like the simple bulb, but beautiful and stylish lamps that I think that looks good with this specific design that is like more like bohemian design that everything is wood, everything is with the coffee color and everything so I think that these lamps fits good and also the ones that I decided to have on the bathroom on the second floor the architect decided to have two more bedrooms so we have three bedrooms uh, four bedrooms sorry with just one bathroom so what I decided to have in here also as as I told you I just have in the game one character and two dogs so I decided to have another bedroom with a bathroom so you were going to have two bedrooms and three bedrooms so that was better in my opinion for this design but as I mentioned to you, these houses were designed for people with low income. So maybe they will have more people. Uh, having a bathroom, it was, it was going to be more expensive. And there you can see that I added the stairs finally. And I needed to move some things, but I had the stairs, I had the space. So it fits perfectly with the design. So for this new uh, bedroom, we have a balcony as well. And of course, uh, as I mentioned, the, the personal bathroom that it was going to be in here. For the furniture, I decided to copy the, the same furniture from the first to the second floor. So it was all the same. Also the bed, it was the same that you are going to see it right now. And uh, of course, the, the colors of the internal part. And for the balcony, I wanted to have a door with a little window for it to have more, more light into the into the bedroom, but also for for you to see to the outside whenever you're in the in the bedroom. So I think that it looks good. And I added some other details that, in my opinion, it fits good for this house. And that was basically it. Everything was the same as the second floor, first floor and everything. So everything is just the same as I mentioned. So furniture and everything, you are going to see it right now. So that was basically all the design. Well guys, if so far you like this video, if you are enjoying this construction, I need you to please give it a like and subscribe to my channel for you to be aware and on top of all of the videos that I'm going to be updating, up uploading on this channel about The Sims 4 and other um, video games that I have in here. So go ahead and give it a like, let's go ahead and subscribe and let's go with the epic shots of the houses in Villa Verde.
Tiny Jabano, Bimboogna.
Alright guys, so that was the video. I hope you enjoyed this video about the Sims 4 and this house that we built today. I'm going to be moving my sim from one house to another. As you can see, I'm gonna be like uh, re um, like moving my sim from all of the places that we're going to be building. So there is going to be a lot of more videos about the Sims 4. So give it a like, subscribe and activate the bell for you to be on top of all of the videos that are going to be here on my channel. Thank you very much for watching this video and see you in another opportunity. Bye-bye.